What's going on, guys? You're with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to what's. Wait, no, wait, what are we doing? Uh, Pokemon Leaf King, <laughs> the Egglog Run. I thought we were going to have to do some grinding today, but actually, looking at the uh, upcoming events, I actually don't think we need to do any grinding. We're actually pretty decent levels, so. Uh, we, I don't know. We are either going to be taking on Erica or. And if we do take on Erica this episode, we'll probably go to the Celadon Game Corner afterwards and take on the Rocket Hideout. Or we might just go to the Rocket Hideout and save the Celadon Game Corner till next time. And I forgot to go get Absol to... Yeah. I need to use Cut to be able to get to that grass so we can catch Pokemon and so we can get Fly. I'm more excited about Fly than the new Pokemon, to be honest. So, Minion, and I'm sorry, Redwood, you'll be used very soon. But now is just not your time to shine. My apologies. We uh, actually will probably spend most of this video training up Redwood, so a lot of switch training, whether we do Erica or the Rocket Hideout, it's pretty much all going to be focused around Redwood, so this is going to be a very Redwoody episode, if you know what I mean, and I think you do. And our new Pokemon's going to be a level 22 do do duo. Do duo? Do du yeah, I think that's do duo. So let's Ember, hopefully we don't kill. Fantastic job, Charcoal. Fantastic job. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, let's skip these trainers. I actually think those trainers give out like a nice sum of money. But if I remember correctly, they have like a level 29 Rapidash in Ninetales. So, not really going out of my way to go face those Pokemon right now. Although I could probably take them on relatively easy with Nidoking and Lapras. I just, eh, it's not worth the risk. Now, before I forget, because I will in like a matter of seconds. Let's teach Fly to our beautiful Nekestrio and get rid of that horrible wing attack. Actually, wing attack isn't that horrible of a move, but... And, I know, I like the fact that wing attack is, like, guaranteed it. Well, it's not guaranteed, but wing attack doesn't... Or has 100% accuracy, and I think Fly has... God, son of a bitch! <sighs> okay, that was my own fault. Probably should have been paying more attention. The good news is I have two Pokemon who can actually probably do decent things here. This is the moment when I really wish Ninetales was a Psychic type, like it should be. Why Ninetales isn't a Psychic type, I don't know, because it would make sense. And it did, really, 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 really. Wow. Okay. Charcoal is just getting crits all over the place this video. But our fire moves are rig. Yeah, that's fucking badass. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared now. Um, let's heal up on Moon because I don't like him having that low of HP especially with that burn. The good thing is I believe he's the slowest. Yeah, so he will not be taking any damage besides the burn and hopefully... Wow! Oh, that's right, the burn. I was like, that did nothing! Um... Let's... Ah, God, this burn's really got me paranoid. Let's do... Okay. No, I have an idea. No! Oh, no, 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 no! 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 I just got that Elm Doom! I didn't want to do this battle in the first place. Crit. That's that's what happens. Charcoal gets two crits so far, and it's gonna come back to it's gonna come back to haunt him. Charcoal, no, I miss him so much. He's just he's still in my party, and I just ah. that was gonna be like my guy against Eric. Well, Nicastro and and Charcoal, those are gonna be like the guys to use, man. The Pokemon against Erica, and, and now we. Oh, I know we still have Growlithe. I think we have another fire type, I don't remember, but still. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll have Kalava also. Um, who, yeah. I don't want to put him in the dead box. He was so good. I'm. I'm. Ow! Alright, okay, let's see. Kalava or Growlithe? 
Um. Ugh. I don't know. Um. I'm gonna. I. I don't remember Growlithe's moveset. I know there's like a good point where you could just like level him or evolve him, like, and he'll just start destroying everything. But I don't remember where that is, cause. Uh, I'm gonna go look at some movesets really quick, so one second. Okay, so Growlithe's kind of confusing, because if I keep him as a Growlithe to level 49, he'll get Flamethrower, and then if I evolve him at level 49, he'll also get Extreme Speed, but that's a long time to wait, and I could theoretically just get Flamethrower from the game corner, but uh, let's look at some stats here. We have... But, God, he's... I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm gonna... I think what I want to do, because he doesn't really learn any useful moves besides Flamethrower, so I think I might just like evolve him right now, because then he'll have super high stats, so yeah, and oh, we also gotta go get Trico. That's, I think that's the plan I'm gonna go with, so I, oh, yeah, so I'm gonna need Cut for Erica, and that sucks, so yeah, instead we're gonna be taking on... Uh, we're gonna take on the game corner thing. Now we got two Pokemon to train up, and I don't know if I should focus on Trico or if I should focus on Growlithe. What I do know is I gotta go buy myself a Firestone. Oh, and I gotta go to th get a Thunderstone for um, Jolteon as well. So we have a bunch of Pokemon that we gotta evolve, and I believe the stones are here. This is where you get them. Yes, we get ourselves a Thunderstone. Thank you. And we'll get ourselves a Firestone. And okay, so. First thing is first, we have, actually, second thing is, we're just going to go evolve two Pokemon, okay? Actually, what, we'll just do, um, let's do What's-His-Face right now. <laughs> he doesn't even have a name anymore, he's just What's-His-Face. He's going to become an Arcanine, that's all that matters. Jimmy is evolving, but he's not even going to get any use before he turns into this just big legendary dog. That's how cool he is, Jimmy the Arcanine. Happy face. Awesome. Okay. Now, let's go get our Jolteon, who we could teach Shockwave, and I was, I think I did a very smart thing, like, not teaching Shockwave to anybody, because now we can give it to Jolteon, and he'll just be ready to kill things, so, uh, bad thing is he's, he's gonna be level 5, which sucks, but, you know, it's whatevs, whatevs, you just gotta deal with it, that's life, you know. We'll have, just have to train him up, but the good thing is he won't miss out on any of his level up moves, because... Uh, Jolteon is a pretty much pure special attacker, although I believe Jolteon is also really known for its speed. But mainly it's a special attacker. I don't think Jolteon has like any good physical stats. I might be wrong, I, who knows, but yeah. So let's give this brand new Pokemon our Shockwave. Beto, oh, Beto can learn it too. I kind of want to teach it to Beto, but I think we're going to hold out for Thunderbolt for Beto. And then Psychic, I'm also probably going to give to him. I... I don't know, it just seems like a really good move set. Bullet Punch. Let's give Bullet Seed to Redwood. Yes, because I don't think he learns any good moves. I, I think Absorb's like the best ground type move he learns. Actually, I think he learns Mega Drain, but either way, Bullet Punch could be very, very useful. If it hits like four or five times, it could do some serious damage. So, uh, now we have our Jolteon. Let's go put it back in the box because we don't really need Jolteon right now. We have with Trico and Nikestro, Jolteon really doesn't add anything new. So I would much rather have Arcanine right now. And now that that is all set, we can finally start taking on the Rocket HQ without our amazing Dark Type buddy who I miss very, very extremely much. Uh, I, RIP buddy. I seriously, God, it just it breaks my heart that that guy's just gone now. Oh wow, I didn't realize we had to battle this guy. I thought he just talked and then he was, like went away. Okay, that's cool. Yep, yeah, wasn't expecting this at all. Let's go. Zipper. Hopefully this thing doesn't crit me. Raticates, like their red attack fan, like their red attack brethren, are very known for getting very powerful critical hits. So it's very easy to be nervous around these things, to say the least. Uh, and I'm extremely nervous. Okay, Zubat. Let's let let's just keep switch training for now. It seems like the best idea because we do have two Pokemon that are pretty under leveled, and. I don't know if I'll do any grinding before I take on Erica. It depends on like what Jimmy looks like at that time. Who am I switching into? I guess let's go to Kestro and hope this thing doesn't poison me. Oh, that's right. It doesn't get poison sting. It gets leech life. Why doesn't it get poison sting as well? That would just be like, that would complete the derpiness of Zubat. Both leech life and poison sting. I mean, 
or does it get poison sting? I know like the Zubats pretty much they have like supersonic and leech life, and then eventually they end up learning um, wing attack. Like right before they evolve, they get wing attack. So they're like at that point where it's not even useful like having it anymore because it's about to become a Golbat, which for some reason cannot learn fly, and that just annoys me so much that it can't learn. Ah, oh, I miss him so much. He would have been my go-to guy right now, but now I. I don't know what to do because I guess Nikestro. I'm a little afraid this thing's gonna use poison gas. Confusion. Actually, I was more afraid of that, which is why I didn't switch into Nido King. But oh, I have bite, and I also have horrible special attacks. There's like no point in even trying to use it. So I. That's one thing. Sometimes it's special physical split. I knew it. Poison gas. Oh, it. It really can come back to bite you in the butt because. Uh, moves like bite, you'll think, oh, that'd be physical, you're biting something. And the game's like, ha, 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 no. It's not. I'm sorry. And then there's just nothing you could do. You just have to accept the fact that it's it's not happening. You're not you're not biting anything. You just gotta accept it. And it real Okay, that's right. It's neutral. Um, it really just, like, cripples Hitmonchan because Hitmonchan gets Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Ice Punch. And typically, that would be a fantastic coverage for a Hitmonchan to have, but Hitmonchan has such horrible special attack that it can't even, like, pretend to use it. So, it's really rather depressing, to be honest. And the good thing is these trainers will be very useful because we will have a Giovanni battle coming up. And our little... But these all, all these little grunts will be able to give us plenty of practice because his highest Pokemon is his level 29 King is gone. So hopefully we can get Sipper up high enough to be able to take that on without... Hopefully... I don't think I'll do switch training against Kangaskhan because I'm pretty worried Kangaskhan will hit us really hard and it'll probably outspeed us as it is so um, I would much rather just probably go straight into Sipper and just go from there so that's probably the plan I suppose anyways so while we're going through all these rocket guns first off I just want to say I will probably be pausing when I go to Pokemon Center just because it will take like entire minute to go up run there up there and come back so I'll probably just pause when I do that so you guys don't have to watch that part but anyways speaking of which I think I'm gonna uh, pause my emulator apparently not actually what I meant to do do I need to heal uh, yeah you know I think I'm gonna go heal and buy some potions so I'll be right back okay so I went and got some super potions and some antidotes because I realized I was down to just three antidotes and that was kind of scary so now we have plenty of items, and we where you? S oh, downstairs, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I've played this like five million and seven times, and I could still never remember where to go, which probably isn't that shocking to be honest. Wow, you have a lot of Pokemon. Okay, and they're all probably gonna be like level 17 Zubats too. So that's nice. And you're super sounding me! Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I hope you can tell my sarcasm is not happiness. My sarcasm is disappointment in your life. Okay, so I guess Jimmy could probably handle these Z-Bats. Anyway, so story time, I suppose. In the meantime, while I'm battling all these rocket guns, grunts, guns, gun things, I will I'll just talk to you guys for a little bit. We could have a little chat and all that. So, the other day, oh, you better not poison me. Yeah, you guys know how normally when I try to tell stories, it like, every time, every like five words, I get distracted by something happening in the game, and we never actually get through the story. Be fully prepared for that to happen this time, so... Uh, ooh! Burn! Very nice! I like that, so hopefully after this Ember and the burn damage... Oh, I don't know if that'll kill from burn damage. Nope, it won't. Okay, so one more bite and there we go. And, okay, let's try telling the story now before we keep getting freaking distracted. Um, so, the other day, I was randomly browsing on Skype and I started talking to one of my subscribers... Oh, Okay, that did nothing. See? I like literally like six words into the story. Anyways, I started talking to one of my female subscribers, just for the heck of it, I suppose. And all of a sudden, a spontaneous game of truth or dare erupted. For the record, if you're like just meeting someone for the first time and you like want a good way to break the ice, truth or dare is actually a really good way to do it as long as you don't like get too sexual or personal like right off the bat. Like if you can respect like the other person and like not be like, oh, <laughs> have you ever sucked a dick? Then yeah it's a very good way to like break the ice and just have some fun so I highly recommend that because it's been like over a week now and we're still playing truth or dare so <laughs> yeah anyways um 
So one of the dares was that. What am I? I, I no. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing right now. That was the dare. That was the dare to confuse me. Uh, what's this one? Okay, let me just try to figure out this maze really quick because I can never remember. Down here, then over here, and we're out. Okay, happy face. Anyways, let's try it again. One of the dares that she asked me was to say hi to the internet for her. So, internet, I would like to take this moment to say hi for someone. So, Pepper says hi. And if you're curious, Pepper is actually my new girlfriend. And I would like to point out, no, Pepper is not Chapel Lamb. Pepper has nothing to do with Chapel Lamb. A lot of people are like, dude, whatever happened to Chapel Lamb? Chapel Lamb and I broke up in April. Okay, there's no big fight or anything. We're not like mortal enemies now. There's just nothing like that. We just kind of went our separate ways. So that's what, you know, Chapel Lamb is out. Pepper's in. That's what's going on there. So I fulfilled my dare and I have said hi to the internet for her. So internet, please say hi to Pepper. I'm sure she will appreciate it. And yeah, eventually when I get a chance to go and visit her, we're definitely going to be doing some vlogging. So that'll be a lot of fun. If you guys are interested in any kind of vlogs at all, you can always feel free to go subscribe to my vlogging channel, I guess, which is Team Caterpie. Link to it is in the description, as always, in case you're actually interested for some reason. So self-promotion, yeah, yeah. Uh, these things are not, another level 19, but they're not hitting nearly as hard as I expect them to be hitting at this point in the game, which is making me rather nervous. Um, oh, look who's about to evolve. Pursuit. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think, like, every time I've ever used a tree kill or a girl file, I don't think I've ever, like, actually used Pursuit before, just because it's, like, such a situational move. I mean, you, like, have... If you're not using it on a Pokemon that's switching out, then it's not useful at all because it's just like so weak and how often are you gonna get in that situation where an AI is gonna be switching out and you could actually predict it because how often do you actually predict the AI is gonna switch out like serious face here serious time serious face I don't I don't know don't question me it doesn't exactly happen often so pursuits not useful at all fury cutter also not useful so fury cutter is another one of those extremely horrible bug type moves in this game that is literally like all the bug type moves in this game are so bad. Bug is actually just like a really bad type until 4th gen. Because 4th gen you got X Scissor. And 4th gen, um, it just wasn't such horrible. I mean, to this point, I would still say Bug is probably like the worst type. Simply because it like has such a lack of moves. I mean, the only bug type moves I could really think of are like Signal Beam, X Scissor, Mega Horn. I can only think of Twin Needle because I don't know why I can even think of Twin Needle, but Twin Needle, I think of that. It, but Bug is just very disappointing and hopefully it gets some kind of buff soon because being a Bug type Pokemon, it it kind of screws you. Oh, um, Silverwind and Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz was like the saving grace for the Bug type. I mean, seriously, there was so many special attacking bugs like Butterfree who... They just, there was like nothing they could do about their stab. There was just, it was pretty much there haunting them because, I mean, did Butterfree even like learn a bug type move until fourth gen? Because I'm pretty, sh no, Silver, I think, I believe Silver one was in third generation, but I don't think Butterfree actually learned that. I think that was just like a beautify move. So, where is the stupid key? God dang it, I hate these places so much because I can never find the keys. Brrr. Where's my where's my super potions? I just want a super potion. And anyways, the, the whole moral of that story earlier was one to fulfill my dare. Like six days later, I finally did it. And two to like give you guys advice. Where if you're like, you meet did I already face you? If you meet some girl on the internet and you're like you don't know what to say to her, or you're just like they're like <laughs> you're a girl. How's that like? You got boobs and all that? Can I see them? Yeah. First off, that's probably not the best way to try to make a good impression is to like instantly start hitting on her boobs so I don't recommend that but just play a nice friendly game of truth or dare because it was just like so spontaneously random because she's there like oh I want to play a game and I'm like oh you mean like truth or dare and then she's like yeah let's play truth or dare and it just really caught me off surprise because I wasn't actually expecting 
to play Truth or Dare, so, you know, it works. So, and, and because of Truth or Dare, I now have a new lady friend, and it's like full circle. So if you invite, okay, for the record, no, I did not dare her to be my girlfriend. I want to point that out. <laughs> Although that would be very ingenious. If you do get a girl to play Truth or Dare, I would keep that in mind because, you know, they have to do the dares. <laughs> Is this the card key? That's frustration, the most useless TM in the world. Where's the card key? Ah, hate this game so much. I hate Giovanni. Seriously, Giovanni, I, I had no, no problems with him until he's like, hey, let's put mazes everywhere. That seems like a f fun idea. No, it's not a fun idea. It was just, it's torture, man. Why would you do this to another living human being? I understand you're trying to like protect your territory and all that, but no, it's not cool. Nobody likes your mazes. Most people just find them annoying, and just we're gonna have to have a serious conversation about this, Geo. I understand, you know, that you're trying to be evil and everything, and I believe you're doing a fantastic job of being evil. You have a lot of potential, but I just realized that Jimmy has bite, and that's super effective against Drowsies, and now I'm a happy face. Yeah, woohoo! Happy face, Hardy. Let's not get poison gas or disabled, preferably. That's actually not doing much. I did not really realize until I did my Fire Red Nose Lock that Drowsies and Hypnos are actually super bulky Pokemon. I mean, they can take a lot of hits, which sucks because I don't want them taking a lot of hits. I would prefer they just kind of die. But another burn, that is like the best thing that can happen to Eradicate. Wait, wait, wait. Does Eradicate have Guts? Or is, I think it gets gut in, Guts in fourth generation, so that's good news. I got really scared there at first. I was like, oh my god. Okay, that's cool. And now you're dead. That's what happens when you flinch me. You die. Good job. Um, let's super potion you. And I believe we're getting close to Giovanni fight, so I'll probably go heal up before that, as always. Or not as always, because I just started doing it. I'll pause when I go to heal, because it's super boring to watch. Black sunglasses might actually be useful on Arcanine, since he's kind of... Oh, please be the key. You're Max Ether, why? Okay, here's the guy who just happens to poop out the key. Like, seriously? Look where his butt is, and look where the key comes from, and tell me I'm not the only one that's just a little fishy about this, because... Yeah... You're gonna poison me. No, you aren't. Okay. That's surprising. Coughing's... Every poison type has... just They just... They poison you. That's just how it goes. You don't have a say in the matter. Just you're playing Pokemon. Hey, Bobby, look! I got a new Pokemon game! And next thing you know, you're poisoned, and then you gotta go to the hospital, and then you die. Because you played Pokemon, you're now dead. I hope it was worth it. Chances are it wasn't. But yeah. That is why parents should not let their children play Pokemon. If they like their children in any way, then oh, you just, you, oh yeah, you dropped it. You, you dropped it behind you, right where your butt is. Yeah, no, uh, no, so. Either way, so I'm gonna go heal up and we'll be taking on Giovanni, so yeah. So to probably nobody's surprise, I got lost getting back down here, so yeah. I believe Giovanni is on the fourth floor. And unfortunately, we'll have to take on some more of his goons. Oh, uh, can we just walk right through here? No, we can't. Can we? Why, why can't we? All right, whatever. We got to take on his two older cronies, and the gate will just magically go down, and then we can take on Giovanni. So, I thought for some reason, like just now, I'm like, oh, hey, no, we got the car key. This opens the gate. And I just realized that's not how the car key works. So, <laughs> oh, not glare. I hope I have some paralyzed heals, because... That's gonna get really annoying. That, is that the best move you have? Is Poison Sting? You don't have like Wrap or nothing. You have Poison Sting. You're a disappointment to Team Rocket, Soldier. I just I don't even know what to say right now. I thought you, I thought you belonged here, boy. I thought you earned your merit, but no, you have Poison Sting. Now I bet your stupid little brick guy's gonna have Poison Sting too, isn't he? Can this maybe hit three times? Would be nice, cause next time two hits will be an Oko. So, not an Oko, a 2-Ko, 5-Ko, whatever. Is it? Oh, God, it's not going to kill it. It's not going to... One more time. Thank you. Good job, Grovile. Okay, so this actually should get Grovile to 18. Awesome. That base. We've done a good job of grinding Grovile so far. Um, let's let Nikestro handle this. I don't want to... I know Arbok probably can't do anything to King, but 
I didn't want to risk it with him being paralyzed that we just get like completely screwed over. Oh, you're trying to paralyze me too, you stupid snake. Oh, yeah, uh, no, you don't paralyze me. You want to know what happens when you paralyze me? I just that way. Do I look like I care? I don't care. Can you even have Arbok at 23? Or is that an underleveled Pokemon? I wanted to think that Arbok was... I thought Ekans evolved higher than that, but... Oh, we do have Paralyzed Heals. Awesome. Oh, that's right. I ended up getting 10 for Lieutenant Surge, and I didn't use any of them. So, that worked out. <laughs> oh, hey, it's one of the grunts from Mount Moon. Hey, buddy, how you doing? How's the whole rocket thing going? You catch any new evil Pokemon lately? Steal any Pikachus? Poison Sting, you better not... Whoa! Poison Sting actually did a lot of damage. I mean, yes, I am five levels under... But still, I didn't think Poison Sting was actually capable of doing any, like, legit damage, so... And it was super effective, but... Sand Slash... Uh... I should probably switch out. I don't feel safe here. I, I just have a feeling, considering how much that Sand... That Sand... Uh, I already forgot his name. Sand Shrew <laughs> did with Slash. I'm very scared about Sand Slash. So, I believe I made the right call switching out. And an Ekans, we will... I guess we'll just dig the Ekans. And then we'll go to take on Giovanni. Don't you dare intimidate me. I am really excited for this boss battle. Because I think it's... I don't think I'll have any problem with his first two Pokemon. Because Beta will be able to just absolutely wreck him. I might actually just go with Grovile. Because they are rock ground types. Because they're an Onyx and a Rhydon. And, yeah, but his Kangaskhan scares me so much. So let's give... Just... Actually, no, because... Uh, yeah, okay, let's just do it. Team Rocket. Blah, blah, blah. Giovanni, you stupid puzzles. Oh, God, I think this is a mistake. I don't think I should have taken him on yet. We can do this. We can do this, guys. We gotta... Wow, I thought he started with his Rhydon. Okay, that's cool. Let's absorb. We are faster, quite effective. Hopefully he does maybe at least half. Maybe. Okay. That's like nowhere near half, so that's cool. Don't you, don't do it. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Oh god. Okay, you're using rage. You're a moron. Why did you use rage? You could have rock throwed. Because I think rock throw had a possibility to kill me. But nope. Let's just stay in and use a move. Useless move, rage. Seriously, rage. It rage honestly just makes me want to rage because I don't understand that move. I don't understand like why it's in the game how it has like any purpose at all in Pokemon considering that you have to use it it's like Fury Cutter where you have to use it like 10 times in a row for it to do any legit damage at all and it's really not worth it okay Sipper this is your moment of truth this is the moment this entire video has been building up to you versus Kangaskhan let's go fight we resist that Okay, why did he go for bite? I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's mega kick or mega punch, which would have done a ton. Oh, as long as we survive this next hit, we got it. Bite, why are you using bite? What? What? Why? Why were you using bite? I'm so confused. Okay, you know what? Whatever. You you deserve to die. Congratulations. Awesome. Now he's going to give us the silk scope, which means we can actually go to Pokemon Tower. Awesome. So... I'm going to let you guys decide. What should I do next episode? Should I take on Erica, Or should I go to Pokemon Tower and take on Erica afterwards? You tell me. If you say take on Erica, I'll probably end up doing Pokemon Tower afterwards. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do both episodes. So much for picking. Until then, yeah, I'm Hardy. Peace!